there is a cry there is a cry for justice Lord justice Lord there is a cry for justice your justice Lord let it be let it be let it be let it be oh Lord let it be let it be let it be Lord there is a cry for justice, Lord, justice, Lord, ah, there is a cry for justice, godly justice, Lord, your righteousness, your justice and righteousness, godliness, oh Lord, yeah, for what is right, for what is good. Oh, there is a cry for what is right, for what is good. There is a cry for what is right, for what is good in this land. For what is right in the land, there is a cry. For what is good, what is right, justice, Lord, there is a cry. For your justice, there's a cry in our land. cry for justice Lord justice Lord yeah I can hear the cry for justice justice in the land oh there is a cry for justice for justice Lord in this land ah cry for what is right the cry for what is good well the cry for what is godly and righteous in the land in this land a cry for godliness and righteousness what is it that's right in your sight Every man has been doing what is right in his own sight. God, we cry today. Yeah, yeah, there is a cry for what is right, for what is good. Yeah, there is a cry for what is right, for what is good. There is a cry for what is right, for what out again now. there is a cry for what is right for what is good and there is a cry for what is right for what is good well there is a cry for what is right for what is good in the Well, today, if you look at Psalm 82, Matt came to me and said, Dad, wouldn't it be cool maybe on Thursdays for you and Mom in the morning put together a three or four point prayer list out of the week, the main things we need to pray over. And Lynette, who is our dear friend, says change the hearts of the Supreme Court justices 
to make your justice. It's in my prayer notes. It's in Carla's prayer notes today. Because we're going there praying for justice and righteousness. Dwight said it as well. He said straight up, yeah. I mean, last night, uh, this is the last day or evening of the Republican convention. And um, I'm not sure what the other one was about, but at least this one, they used the name of Jesus. They had a pastor, a female pastor, open in prayer. I said, feels like home to me. But listen, there is a cry for righteousness and justice. We'll get to it in Psalm 82. But I brought my friend's song, which we're going to thoroughly learn today. Thoroughly, yes. If you look at Psalm 82, there's only eight verses. If you just go and open to it, just leave it open. We're not going to do the narration. We always worship about 20, 30 minutes, 25 minutes, whatever. But I'm looking at this. Pray, you know, praying for the widow and the orphan. Vindicate, take care of the widow and the orphan. This thing is chock full. But my friend Kim Bollinger wrote, I will plead the cause of the needy. I will give my time for the hungry. And I will pray for righteousness. Spring for like the rain, and I will not forsake you, my father. I'll set my gaze upon no. my goal as I sit God before your throne and holy 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 are you Lord and holy 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 are you come on let's get there today we're going straight in yeah. and holy, holy, holy are you Lord of hosts? You're the Lord of do it again, holy and holy, holy, holy are you of the needy I will give my time for the hungry and I will plead the cause of the needy and I will give my time for the hungry and I will pray for righteousness to spring forth, God, like the rain. I will not forsake you, and I will not forsake you, my Father. I'll set my gaze upon no other. I sit before your throne, sing yeah, and holy, holy, holy are you, Lord, my God, and holy, holy, holy for you, are you, Lord. You're the Lord 
sing it holy hour. Well, and holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Holy, holy, holy are you, Second verse, I will trust in you, my Redeemer. I'll not fear or be anxious for tomorrow. I will be as that tree planted by the deep water. And I will trust in you, my Redeemer. I'll not fear or be anxious for tomorrow. And I will be as that tree planted deep by the water. Fill me up, yeah, I know you fill me up with your zeal and your fire as I see the path that is higher and may your glory abound may your glory and may, may your glory abound may your glory may your glory abounding glory sing it out you release the abounding Everybody, you release your abounding glory. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, you release your abounding glory. Uh, all throughout the land, God, conviction, truth, and revival, CTR. We're going to go there again today. Conviction is falling. Your truth is being established, God. Revival in the land. There's revival in the land. Come on, do it. Conviction is falling, Lord. Your truth is established, God. There is revival in this land. Conviction is falling from heaven your truth being established everywhere there's revival in this land come on sing it with me ah, 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 ah. conviction in heaven's conviction is falling your truth is being established there is revival in this land Heaven's conviction is falling. Your truth is being established. There is revival in our land. Come on, sing it again. Heaven's conviction. Heaven's conviction is falling. Your truth is being established, Lord. There's revival in this land. Come on, prophesy as you're praying. Yeah, heaven's conviction is falling. Wow, your truth is being established. Revival in the land. Back to Kim's song, second verse. I will trust in you, my Redeemer. I'll not fear or be anxious for tomorrow. I will trust. In you, my Redeemer, and I'll not fear or be anxious for tomorrow. 
I will be as the tree planted deep, planted deep beside the waters. Fill me up, fill me up with your zeal and your fire as I will see the path that is higher and may your glory abound through me even now your abounding glory coming through us even now Lord we cry holy Are you Lord? Oh, holy, 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 are you Lord? Holy, 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 are you Lord? Of home, you're the Lord of holy. Oh, come on. Sing it out. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Well, holy, holy, oh my God, are you, you're holy, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Of you're the Lord of all, abounding glory, God. We ask you for some of the highest stuff and things, abounding glory, Lord. You release, you release your abounding glory. God, your abounding glory. Your abounding glory in every nation, in every land. Abounding glory. In every nation, in every land, abounding glory, yeah. I, I, you're abounding glory. Abounding glory. Abounding glory with all your light and your power on it, Lord. Abounding glory. And a prayer. For the American church, put your nation's name in there. Katie Torr wrote, wrote the song, Set Me Ablaze. I want to pray before we go into Psalm 82. Again, these statistics really bother me. Carla found it in two different locations that 40% of the American church is not registered to vote. I guess people think they're living in their sheltered world and they go to church once a week and Listen, they, they will not leave you alone. They'll come for you. I mean, when they in California said, well, we're shutting down the churches. Well, the liquor stores can be open. Help me out, Carla. The abortion clinics can be open. The casinos and can be open. The casinos can be open. But you can't open up a church. And you definitely can't sing. You can't sing or worship. What a bunch of liars. You're not well, doing that. That tells with you us. where that's coming from, right from the pit of hell. Wow. So, dude, we're fighting. We got, we're prayer warriors on this stream. We're worshiping intercessory, prophetic worshipers, community full of the vitality of the Lord. It's awesome. And Katie wrote, let's pray that every snoozing believer would set me ablaze, set me ablaze, till it's all that I know. Set me ablaze, set me ablaze. 
so I'll never grow cold. Set me ablaze, set me ablaze, until it's all that I know. Set, set them ablaze, set them ablaze, set us ablaze. Use us here, set us ablaze, set us ablaze, till it's all that I know. Set us ablaze, set us ablaze, so we'll never grow cold. Set us ablaze, set us ablaze, till it's all that I know. Set us ablaze, set us ablaze, so we'll never go cold. Well, breathe, come and breathe on the coals of my heart. May your fire start in me. Come and breathe on the coals of our hearts. Keep us burning. Breathe. Come and breathe on the coals of our hearts. May your fire start in me. Breathe. Come and breathe on the coals of my heart. Yeah, yeah. Na, na, na. Na, na, na. Yeah, yeah. Let's go, fire of heaven, fire of the Lord. Second verse, she said, is that me ablaze? Set us ablaze with a single obsession. Set us ablaze, set us ablaze with an endless passion. Set us ablaze, set us ablaze with a single obsession. Set us ablaze. Set us ablaze with an endless passion. Breathe, come and breathe on the coals of our hearts. May your fire start. Breathe, come and breathe on the coals of our hearts. Keep us burning. Breathe, come and breathe on the coals of our hearts. May your fire start in me. Breathe. Come and breathe on the cold of my heart. Check it out. She's in a wildfire. Burn brighter here inside my heart. Consume me. Reach through me. I want all that you are. Yeah. Wildfire. Burn brighter deep inside my heart. Consume me. Reach through me, I want all that you are. Wildfire, burn brighter here inside my heart. Consume me, reach through me, I want all that you are, Lord. Wildfire, burn brighter here deep inside my heart. Consume me, reach through me, I want all Now prophesy over the American, the sleeping giants. Time Ephesians says, get up out of your grave. <laughs> get up out of your coffin and get busy. Worship God. No sleeping on the job. We pray, set us ablaze, set us ablaze, till it's all that we know. Set us ablaze, set us ablaze, so we'll never grow cold. Set us ablaze, set us ablaze, till it's all that we know. <laughs> Woo! Set us ablaze. Come on, let's do it again. So we'll never grow cold. Ah, set us ablaze, set us ablaze, till it's all that we know. Set us ablaze, set us ablaze, till it never grow cold, yeah. Set us ablaze, set us ablaze, till it's all that we know. Come on, Lord. Uh, uh, set us ablaze, set me ablaze, I'll never grow cold, breathe, yeah. Breathe, breathe on the coals of my heart, may your fire start, breathe. Come and breathe on the coals of my heart. Keep me burning. Breathe. Come
up and breathe on the coals of my heart May your fire burn in me Breathe, come and breathe on the coals of my duty care Breathe, come and breathe on the coals of my heart Let your fire burn in me Breathe, come and breathe on the coals of my heart Keep me burning Breathe, come and breathe on the coals of my heart May a fire start in me Breathe, breathe on the coals of my heart Wildfire, burn brighter Here deep in my heart, Lord Consume me reach through me. I'm going to sing it and then we're going to start praying. Before we go to some over, American church come to life. Like Lazarus, come to life. Come on American church, stand up. Insert your nation's name, wherever you're watching from today. This is right and now. No, 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 no. Wildfire Burn brighter deep inside my heart. Consume me Reach to me, I want all that you are Wildfire, burn brighter Deep inside my heart, yeah Consume me, reach to me I want all that you are, yeah Wildfire, burn brighter Here inside my heart Consume me, reach to me I want all that you are Wildfire, burn brighter deep inside my heart, yeah. Consume us, reach through us. Everybody pray, everybody skate, baby. Come on, pray. American church is coming to life. Would you say, kid, I can't hear you. I said, American church is coming back to life. The sleeping giant is aroused. Come on, everybody pray. That 40% get registered and vote right. Vote right. You can't vote for people that believe in abortion. The Lord is not for that. I'm saying it straight up. Oh, stop killing the babies. It's the common New Day Holocaust. Over 60 million. Wake up the sleeping giant. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up, wake up, the sleeping giant. Wake up, American church, catch on fire with the fire of the Lord. Yeah, with the fire. Come on, everybody, pray. Vote. Oh, thank you, Carolyn. She said, vote for life. Fire of the Lord is overtaking. The American church, right? Fire of heaven is overtaking. Oh, the American church, you're catching the fire of heaven. The fire of the heart of the Lord, I said. The fire of the heart of the Lord. The fuck, everybody pray out loud. Oh, no, 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 no. out loud lift up your voice here yeah. oh, oh, yeah. oh, this is awesome keep going yeah, 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 yeah. Fresh oil, fresh fire for every believing American and beyond, yeah. Fresh fire, fresh oil, yeah. Fresh fire, fresh oil right now, yeah. Wake up, we ask you, Lord, we have no other place to go. We ask you for your help in waking up the American church to a new day and a new time. What? You're waking up the American church to a new day and new time. 
Oh, you're waking up the American church to a new day and a new time. Wow. It's an old time saying, keep praying. They said, a rut is just a grave with both ends kicked out. I'm going to say it again and tell you what the Passion Bible says in Ephesians. The old timer said, well, if you get in a rut, you don't get out. A rut is like a coffin with both ends kicked out. I went, whoa, I don't want to do that. I don't want to be a part of that. So it says, wake up. Wake up, body of Christ, American church. Wake up and rise up out of your coffin, the rut you've been in. So Father, with your grace and with your mercy, we pray revival is in the land. Oh, I'll pray for secular people, Lord, but right now I'm praying for a true Holy Spirit revival in the American church. And again, insert your nation's name it's time. I was a part of the charismatic renewal where millions of denominational people were touched and filled with the Holy Spirit. Do it again, Lord, we pray. Do it again. Do it again, Lord. Charismatic renewal. Out of the Jesus movement, the 70s and the 80s, millions came and received the power of the Holy Spirit. Psalm 82, I want Carla to uh, read these beginning keynote scriptures. She's going to pray us in, and dude, we're going to take a minute. We're going to be here. Thank God we're just about a half an hour in because we're doing Psalm 82 of hardcore today in intercession. I want to ask Matt if he can pull, uh, post that prayer request from Reggie Wells on all platforms. Oh, okay. Today we're talking about justice, which is one of the pillars of the throne of God, on which it stands, righteousness and justice. And this world needs God's justice more now than it ever has, ever. There's just more lawlessness and rampant wickedness, rampant hate, just downright hate. God's not the author of that. Uh, it says here about Psalm 82, the Lord sets his standards, which is proper judgment. And, and there's a plea for justice. In the first three verses, he, he comes to judge. He judges every judge and ruler. The question is asked, how long will you judge unjustly and show partiality to the wicked? to defend the poor, the fatherless, the defenseless, and forgotten, the Jesus. disenfranchised, and the destitute. Bring your word before you today, Father God. Put you in remembrance of it. Along with our plea and our cries for justice in this earth, wow. particularly justice in America, God. And what we look to as a nation, as our justice, our court systems that are so corrupt right now, that are so inundated with corruption. We pray that truth would be known. Wow. That you would wow. uncover truth. That our society could look at truth and make proper judge judgments based on the truths that are revealed and uncovered by your word and your hand, God. Psalm 82, verse 1. God stands in the congregation of the mighty, of the heavenly beings. He judges among the gods and among the earthly rulers. 
When all the other gods, those who think they are gods, the leaders and rulers of the nations have come together, the Lord God judges them and says, the Lord stands up in the divine assembly to open heaven's court. In the midst of the judges, give us judgment. God stands in the assembly of the representatives of God in the midst of the magistrates and the judges. He gives judgment as among the gods. All rise, for God now comes to judge. As he convenes heaven's courtroom, he judges every judge and rules over every ruler, saying, You judge every judge. You're all about justice, Lord. You're judging every judge. You're the great justice, the great justice of all the land, the great justice of the universe. Well, you judge all the judges, judge all the judges. Come on. You're the great justice of the universe. And you judge all the judges, yeah. All will rise at your name. All will rise at your presence, Lord. All will rise at your name. All will rise at your justice, Lord. All will rise at your Come on, let it build up in your heart that he's the great justice. You talk about Supreme Court justices. He's the supreme universe justice of all. You can't outrun the Lord, brosters. You can't outrun the Lord. And he said, how long will you judge unjustly? Oh, man, I just, it's going to take me a minute. Why do you continue to show partiality to the wicked? says the Lord. <laughs> the day of reckoning is at hand for every man. What'd you say, Ken? I said the day of reckoning. For some people, their life will be required of them tonight. They have no idea they're going into eternity. This would be a good time to get to know the fear of the Lord. Thanks for sharing, Ken. It was really good, I know. Oh my God. Verse two. How long will you judge? Ask the Lord unjustly, you judges, and show partiality to the wicked. No more mockery of justice, the Lord says. No more mockery of justice. No more favoring the wicked. Oh, man, somebody shout hallelujah. <laughs> it's a possibility in this life, and we know when he comes back again. There'll be no more favoring the wicked for the bribe under the table, for taking money in the back room. Oh my God, peppermint. How long will you keep judging unfairly and favoring evil people? How long will you judge wickedly and make exception for sinners? Oh my God. He asked, how long will you judge, judge dishonestly and be partial to the wicked? Judging dishonestly, the Lord is not for this. Remember, get ready to pray here. How long will you judge? Will you judges refuse to listen to the voice of true justice? The Passion Bible said, how long will you judges continue to corrupt what is right by judging in favor of the wrong? How long will you judges refuse to listen to the voice of true justice? Wow. And how long will you judges continue to corrupt what is right by judging in favor of the wrong? And here's what we're praying over. Americans' judicial system and governmental realm. This is our first prayer point for the day. Americans' judicial America's judicial system and government realm. I wrote down our CTR, conviction, truth, revival. Touch the judges with your justice, Lord. Everybody pray. 
Lord, step into America's judicial and government realm. Cleanse and bring change. Lift up your voice and intercede. Cleansing and bringing change. Cleansing and bringing change. Touch the judges of this land with your justice, Lord. If it takes a dream in the night, a vision in the day, a supernatural sign and wonder, touch the justices with your justice, Lord. Touch the judges with your justice, Lord. Touch all the judges with your justice in this land. Touch the judges with your holy justice will touch imagine this there's a power going out in the spirit right now as we pray and intercede and worship God said okay I hear your cry I'm going to begin to do that he's changing hearts the hearts of justice justice is he's changing the hearts and lives of judges come on pray in the spirit pray in English Pray in Spanish, German, French, whatever you got. Touch the judges of our land, Lord. Change the judges and their heart within, Lord. Change the judges. Show them their sin, Lord. Change the hearts of the justices within. Oh, keep praying. Come on. America's judicial system, we live before the throne of grace. What? I said we live. America's judicial system, it's huge, but it's not bigger than the Lord or heaven itself. And the government realm, intervene, 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 Lord. Intervene, interrupt, inter intervene, God, intervention, interrupt right now. Yeah, America's judicial system will have to bow their knee to you, Lord. Yeah, bowing their hearts and their knees. Bow. They're going to get right, Lord. We pray that you touch the judges with your justice. Yeah, yeah. Now, before we go to the next verse, I want Carla to pray her heart on this one, on the ju judicial system and government realm. Carla. Father God, we pray that every, everyone in authority in the realm of law and order in America and around the world. God, we see in your word that you hate lawlessness. Woo! That you hate lawlessness, God. That you have a system of justice. And God, I pray that, that everyone that is compromised in, in these realms, in, in these areas of, uh, of authority, if they are compromised, God, let them repent. Call them, draw them to repentance, Come on, God. Carla. Jesus. Before it's shouted from the housetops, God. Oh my Before God. their indiscretions and their compromise and everything that is done and their illicit benefit is shown to the world. Give them a chance to repent, God, and make it right. That, that you, they see your justice as the way to, to righteousness. Help us, God, because we, the people, we, your people, are in submission to it, whatever it be. God, your word says that when the righteous rule, the people are, are content and happy. Just let righteous rule come back to our nation, God. We pray against the corruption. We ask you to do it in Jesus' name. So you guys, we're gonna, we'll get on to the next verse. These are so powerful and so precious. Carla, we'll start with verse three, I'll do four, and then we're gonna be praying again to defeat abortion and human trafficking. I wanna say thanks to my son, Matt. He's sitting right across the screen from me. Dad, it's urgent, I, I got such an urgency. I've been doing, we're going to be doing this, uh, maybe not every day, but at least three three times a week where we're, we can get in. So just get ready. Carla, verse three. 
Defend the poor and fatherless. Vindicate them. Do justice to the afflicted and needy. Do justice to the afflicted and needy. Judge for the needy and for the motherless child. Give you justice to the meek, the weak, and to the poor. Stand up for the poor and the orphan. Advocate for the rights of, unaffect, un, of afflicted and those in need. Dispense justice to the needy and for the orphan. Uphold the rights of the oppressed and the destitute. Defend the fatherless. Defend the defenseless, the fatherless, and the forgotten, the disenfranchised, and the destitute. Oh God, we ask again for you to defend the defenseless, defend the fatherless, defend the forgotten, defend the disenfranchised, and defend the destitute. Judge for the needy and the motherless child. Wow, what a category. He said, judge for the needy and the motherless child. That's the white Wycliffe. We will judge for the needy, Lord, and for the motherless child. Giving justice to the meek. To the weak and the poor, yeah, we're giving justice to the meek and the weak and the poor. Well, we're giving justice to the meek and the weak and the poor, yeah, and giving justice to the meek, the weak and the poor. Depend, defend the poor and the fatherless. That pa passion Bible says, defend for the defenseless, the fatherless and the forgotten ones. Defend the defenseless, God. The fatherless and the forgotten one, I said, will defend for the defenseless. The fatherless and the forgotten one, the disenfranchised and the destitute, says the Lord. Yeah. Well, defend the poor, the fatherless and the forgotten one. Yeah. Defend the disenfranchised. And the destitute one, oh, get it in your spirit, my God. Defend the defenseless, yeah. The fatherless and the forgotten ones, yeah. We'll defend the disenfranchised and the destitute. Verse 4. You deliver the poor and the needy God. You free them from the hand of the wicked man. You deliver the poor and the needy God, God. And you free them from the hand of the wicked man. Remember sex trade trafficking? There's human, tra human labor trafficking in Asia. Uh, defeating abortion, we're coming up to pray for that. But look at verse 4. Deliver the poor, Lord, and the needy. We're singing his word to him. Free them from the hand of the wicked man. Deliver the poor, God, and the needy, Lord. And you free them from the hand of the wicked man. It goes on to say, the contemporary English version, rescue the weak. 
rescue the homeless from the powerful hands of heartless people. Yeah, I'm not okay with that heartless people thing. After all the grace and mercy that's been showed, heartless people, wow, there's such a category. Rescue the weak and the homeless from the powerful hands of heartless people. Deliver the poor and the needy, rescue them from their evil oppressors. Rescue ye the poor and the needy and save them from the power of sinners. Check it, the passion says your duty. What? It says your duty is to deliver the poor and the powerless and liberate them from the grasp of the wicked. So we're praying over defeat abortion, Lord, and human trafficking, both sex trade trafficking and labor. They abduct people and people in Thailand, in Laos, and they just take them out onto islands. They, it's like slave labor all over again. So Carla, read the rest of that and pray it up, girl. God, there aren't words to describe how we need to feel about this issue of abortion and tra human trafficking. Oh my God. There aren't enough words in the dictionary to describe what needs to be said wow. about this issue because the blood of the innocent cries out from the ground every day, every single day, the blood of the innocent. God, I pray that you would uncover the global syndicates that are making so much money. Because right now, the status is that the greatest industry in the world is human trafficking. There's more money made off of that than anything else. And you could put it all together. You can put all industry together. It doesn't even pale in comparison to what's being made off of human beings. And God, we're done with it. Uncover it, God. Yes. I don't care if people have to throw up their socks when they see the truth. I don't care because that's how disgusting it is in 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 this in our sight in our sight God and that doesn't even compare to what you see and what you regard you take those souls and those spirits to you every day God you embrace them and comfort them because of of what they've experienced but God put an end to it Put an end to it in the name of Jesus. Put an end to harvesting organs for the sake of people who can afford to buy one. Wow, Lord. Woo! Prisoners who are executed, taken every day into operating rooms so they can take their organs and put them to death, execute them like that. It's wrong, God. It's wrong. It's all wrong. We pray that you would come and expose it all. And we don't care how you need to expose it. Just expose it, God. That truth would be known. Bring revival around the world, God. And, and you know, just bring conviction to the hearts of people in general that are numb to the fact that thousands of babies are aborted every day that children are sacrificed for the sake of power. In Jesus' name. Your divine help. I wrote down on my sheet, this is what we're praying. We ask you for your divine help, O oh Lord. We ask you for your divine help in all these things. Bring to an end, bring this to an end and stop it, Lord. 
bring human trafficking to an end and stop it in its track bring it to an end human trafficking we ask for your divine help oh lord you're really that big after all you're really that big we ask you stop abortion lord change the hearts of the people yeah. bring it to an end 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 bring it to we're defeating abortion it's coming to an end lord and human sex trade trafficking and even human labor trafficking is coming to an end by your divine help because we just read this is your word lord we read your decree in verses three and four defend the poor and the fatherless the orphans and all the rest that have been picked up off the streets father we thank you right now Somebody say, thank you, Lord, for your power. We couldn't even be praying this. Other religions, they don't have no power to pray this stuff. So we go on. Now we're halfway through the simple little eight verses, seemingly simple, short, I should say, but powerful. Verse, Verse five. 5. They do not know, nor do they understand. They walk about in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are unstable. None of you know or understand a thing. You live in darkness while the foundations of the earth tremble. The magistrates and judges know not, neither wow. will they understand. Wow. Ignorant and senseless, they carry on blindly, undermining the very basis of earthly society. But you know not nor do you understand that you go in darkness and that all the foundations of the earth have been shaken. But you continue in your darkness and ignorance while the foundations of society are shaken to the core. This is the time. This is the time of the change of Lord. The darkness cannot remain because of you, Lord. This is the time of change. Let it be by your power, Lord. Breaking down the darkness. You're breaking down the darkness and Lord you're breaking down the da darkness and the ignorance will leave in the Lord yeah. breaking down the darkness name of Jesus we're breaking down the darkness yeah breaking down the darkness yeah in your name the change is here oh Lord breaking down the come on sing it bringing down the darkness Breaking down the darkness, it can't remain. Well, we're breaking in the name of Jesus. We're bringing down and breaking down the darkness in Jesus' name. Stay with it, man. Stay with the duty again. Well, we're breaking down the darkness. Yeah. We're bringing down the darkness, Lord Jesus, in your name, before the Father of heaven, breaking down the darkness. It's all changing right now. In Jesus' name. Come on, do it again. 
It's a sung song, it's a sung prayer, but we're breaking down the darkness. Yeah, yeah. I'm bringing down the darkness in the name of Jesus by the light of heaven. Bringing down the darkness by the light of heaven in the name. In Jesus' name. Check this out. In verse 6, I said, You are like gods, like the Elohim, the consulars. And all of you are children of the Most High. Stay with us now. Here's a note. Where is your consul coming from? And what consul are you listening to? Wow, what the judges? There, it's right there. I was the one to say that you should be, well, like as a God, all of you being kin of the Most High, K-I-N, being kindred to the Most High, like a kinfolk. I commissioned you judges, hear it now. Each one of you, deputies of the, high, of the Most High God, but you betrayed your commission. Woo! And now you're stripped of your rank. You will be stripped of your rank and busted. That's, that's prayer ground right there. This is the message Bible. I commissioned you judges, each one of you, to be deputies of the high God. But what you guys did is betrayed your commission. Now you're stripped of your rank. And the passion said, didn't I commission you as judges? <laughs> it's one thing to be commissioned by a group of men or a committee or a consul. It's one thing when the Lord says, didn't I commission you? And you're all like God since you judge on my behalf because you are like the sons of the Most High, my representatives. Now in this soft moment, just our last little prayer segment, I put down a revelation and heart change to all judges everywhere in America. Here it again, a CTR, praying conviction falling, truth being established, revival in the land. Let's pray revelation, light, and heart change to all judges everywhere, even the good ones. God can increase their understanding of kindness and proper wisdom from his perspective. So we start praying right now. Light and heart revelation, God, change. We pray over all the judges. This is such a huge category, Lord. I didn't want to write this down on my sheet, but you said, oh no, I can cover it. I'm God, I'm big. So we pray. Fresh oil revelation and heart change to all the judges everywhere. Everywhere in this land, Lord. A fresh oil revelation and heart change to all the judges everywhere everywhere fresh oil yeah fresh oil revelation heart change to all the judges everywhere 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 yeah fresh oil revelation heart change to all judges well everywhere in america in america you're a great big god you're a great big god you do bring the change you bring lord we count on you you're a great big god a great big god we count on you, you bring the change. You're the great big God. You're the great big God. 
you're bringing the change to all judges everywhere a great big god yeah i just want you to hear it one more time as we finish this section lord we pray judges are getting right because of your fire. Your fire is starting to burn in their heart. Conviction is falling. Godly truth is being established and revival is in the land. And Lord, this is your way and truth. Your way and your truth is I commissioned you judges, each one of you, to be my deputies, deputies, deputies of the Most High God. So do not betray your commission. Conviction is falling, Lord. Revelation light is shining and hearts are hearing and changing. Last two verses. And Father God, I pray that every vacant seat in the justice system would be filled with righteous people, God. Righteous men and women who will judge rightly using your word and truth and law and order. And I also pray that any that, that are subject to votes of the people, that the people who vote one way or the other for their local judges would do their homework, distinguish which ones are right and which ones are not. Verse 7, but you shall die like men and fall like one of the princes. You will die no differently than any mortal. You will fall like one of the princes. But you will die just like everyone else, including powerful rulers. But you will die as all people must die. Your life will end like that of any ruler. And the Passion says, nevertheless, in death, you are nothing but mere men. You will be laid in the ground like any prince, and you will die. She's going to continue with verse 8. And the conclusion is, Arise, O God, judge the earth, for you shall inherit all nations. Fear of the Lord is the foundation of true wisdom, and all who obey his commandments will grow in wisdom. Praise him forever. Rise up, O true God. Judge the rulers of the earth, for all the nations are yours. For all the nations shall be thy inheritance. Thanks, Jesus. Stand up, Lord God. You dispense justice on the earth, since no nation is excluded from your ownership. And the Passion says, All rise. For God now takes his place as judge of all the earth. Don't you know that everything and everyone belongs to him? The nations will be sifted in his hands. You stand up, O oh Lord. You dispense justice in this earth. Will you stand up, O oh Lord God? You dispense justice on this earth. Will you stand up, O oh Lord, dispensing justice, your justice in all the earth? Hey, yeah, yeah. Will you stand up, O oh Lord, dispensing justice? In the earth, will you stand up? Come on, you guys, sing it. It's a prophecy. It's a proclamation. The Lord said, if you say it, I'm going to do it. Stand up, oh Lord. You're dispensing justice in all the earth. Stand up, O oh Lord. You're dispensing justice in this earth. Will you stand up, O oh Lord? Dispensing justice 
in this earth will you stand up oh lord dispensing justice this justice in all the The nations are yours, let us praise your name forever, your name for all the nations are yours. Let us praise your name, praise your name forever, all the nations are yours. Let us praise your name forever and ever. It's, oh man, it's good work right here. Oh, you the nations are yours and we praise your name forever well I stand up oh Lord for your disp dispensing justice in the nation you stand up oh Lord dispensing justice to every nation oh God we're singing it because we believe it right now in 2020 God in this month we're singing it because we believe it will you stand up oh lord dispensing justice to all the nations will you stand up oh lord dispensing justice my god to the nations will you stand up oh lord dispensing justice justice to every nation wow and so what a day we have done the Lord's work plowing the field with prayer and worship plowing the field of the earth with intercession and worship this is what we're partially built to do if not totally man we are built to do plow the field prayer intercession and worship what a day again eight short verses so full of power and so full of the heart of the Lord and then keep doing it day by day this is Thursday we won't see you tomorrow I'll see you Saturday night at 7 I'm going to hand off to Matt in just a minute uh, again anything you can give right now is a blessing but I'm telling you I'm digging this I think today kind of sets a new mark of how we can pray right out of Psalms and out of in the words of Jesus anywhere in the Bible what do you guys say you see those hearts and thumbs give me a few responses to that wow i thought that was so powerful and the devil didn't like it and too bad man this is what we're gonna do till we see his light cover the whole earth all right god bless you guys uncle matt yes amen and amen to that so thankful to see the community online today uh worshiping and praising out of psalm 82 uh, like he said, I've been uh, mentioning to him, we need to take one of our streams per week, uh, put together what's been happening in our, our on our planet, and uh, uh, feel free to share other things during the stream for prayer points that need to be prayed over in the planet. Uh, but we have hurricanes coming through the U.S., fires in California, um, just the the raging enemy going out uh, all over in our country right now, tearing and burning down and, and causing anger and strife. So I just felt like we need to do this as a community, get on once a week, get prayer points of what's happening, current events, and make sure we're praying about it together as a community. So thank you for joining today. Make sure you hit that like and hit that share button because we want more people to see this later, current, up to the date, and be able to pray with us as we do this later, as people watch it on the restream later. I will be putting this up later as I usually do, but make sure you like and share if you're joining us now, if you're on the stream now. And if you want to support what we're doing here, again, this is this is part of it, getting on together, praying about what's happening in the earth, because this is what the Lord said, my house will be a house of prayer, and uh, we should be doing it day in and day out. So five days a week, you can help do this with us online, to, and we can be a part of doing it together, praying over things and being a part of it. So we're so thankful to see you guys on today. Make sure you let somebody know to watch this one in particular and to get out there and pray about this stuff that's happening and what we prayed over today out of the Psalms. So if you want to help support 
for today's stream. We always say we're trying to raise about $360 per stream. I think we're pretty shy of that for this month. So anything you can give, like he said, uh, would be great and beneficial to uh, keeping these streams going out for free and uh, for them to be up for all time for people to join and, and get in, uh, involved with it as we go forward. So if you want to support us today in this stream today, you can join us at chman.org or kenthenry.com. You're looking at chman.org right here. That's for Carriage House Ministries. That is the ministry for the family we've started. And uh, you can click on that donations tab. It'll take you to our donations page where you can become a monthly supporter. You can do a one-time donation or the 12 campaign. Those little rectangles are actually boxes that you can click on. So make sure you check those out right there. All safe and secure through Give Lively, our partner. If you scroll down on that page a little bit, you'll see the donate by check. Uh, donate by check right there. A lot of people still liking to do that. Uh, shout out to, she mentioned it, 200 bucks came in today. Uh, I forget who she said it was. She's not paying attention to me. But uh, so thankful for those checks coming in. It's hugely helpful for these things going out and to keep our budget rolling. The Tippins. Thank you to the Tippins. We received your check today. So awesome. Thank you. That's hugely supportive to today's stream. If you want to join us at the store, we have lots of products available right here on the store. You can give a 20% off coupon. Make sure you sign up to get that one for the first time. We don't spam. We we do very little email marketing, stuff like that. And so check it out. Become a part of our subscription model right there. You can also give right through the store, as you see going on right on your screen right now. We also have paypal.me slash chmin if you're a PayPal user and you're all set up and, and done on PayPal, make sure you check out paypal.me slash chmin. You'll see this exact screen. You'll be able to set up uh, a monthly payment if you want or a one-time gift exactly right here on this for PayPal users. If you're a Facebook friend, linked in your comments, pinned in the comments actually, is all of these things that I'm talking about. So check the bottom of your screen because all of these links, even the smile link, all of those are right there pinned in the comments each and every day. I throw those up there for ease of use for everybody. So this uh, fundraiser is for this month. There's a few people who have used it. Um, if you're a Facebook friend, it's quick and easy to jump over here, all done through Network for Good in our fundraiser for the month or in your comments. Les Cynthia, again, thank you for giving 50 stars today. Those are one cent a piece. So that's 50 cents for 50 stars, a dollar uh, for 100, et cetera, et cetera. You can buy amounts of those. You can give certain amounts of those all right here in the comments section. So check out the stars, especially for small amounts if you're joining us on Facebook, whether on the stream or later. You can also do the YouTube super chat for our YouTube friends. There's super chat right there. You can give a, uh, use the dollar sign right there during the stream and you can give amounts right within the comments on YouTube. We also have the uh, CHM give, the text giving. It's CHM give in your message field to 44321 or give 12 if you want to do the give 12 campaign to 44321. You can text that to that number. It'll generate a link, send it back to you. You can click on that. All done safe and secure again, like through Give Lively, our partner. And lastly, we like to tell people if you're shopping on Amazon, whatever country you're in, if you're using Amazon, they have the Smile program pretty much in all those regions where you can support a nonprofit of your choice. We are Kent Henry Ministries on there, the 501c3 that can be a part of this program. It's a half percent of all your purchases goes to us. And they do that just as part of their program that they run. So if you're not familiar with that, make sure you turn it on in your app on your phone or do it on the browser. And uh, you got to go to a, a specific one. It's the same Amazon thing, but it's all done uh, through the Smile program. If you do the smile.amazon.com in the US and it's different in every region. But check that out if you haven't already. Again, like and share. We'll be restreaming this at 8.30. So if you're watching this at the 8.30, this is restreamed. But uh, we are live five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. Th uh, Wednesdays and Saturdays are at 7 p.m. Central Standard. Make sure you know, uh, let somebody know that we're here, that we're doing this each and every uh, five days a week, and uh, that they can be a part of it and comment live and join us as we're doing this live, putting prayer, worship, and the word out for free for all to see and for all to be a part of. Uh, we want to connect with more friends build this community so make sure you let people know we're here and uh, we want to see you back for a seeking soaking saturday night this saturday night at 7 p.m central standard time anything else dad that's it for us for today be blessed guys and make sure to check back for the 8 30 or the 8 30 restream